the most important thing after you get a kill, and I'm going to probably already stress this throughout the gameplay, I'm going to continue to stress it, is that for this exact reason, you want to get a kill and you want to get out. Yo, what's up dudes, it's your boy. Scotty Smooth Man, and in this video we're going to be breaking down a solo Warzone 2 win that I have recorded here for you guys. And unfortunately the audio did not transfer in the recording, don't know what the hell happened there. So we're going to be playing maybe a little bit of background music, but there's going to be a lot of tips and tricks in here for you guys in Warzone 2 solo specifically. And we're going to jump right into it man. So first thing, if you're a kind of a beginner, newer, or even more experienced, obviously there's a couple hot spots here, observatories, one of the, the hot spots, and when it comes to just landing, I usually recommend landing the same spot almost every time, if not every single time, because you're going to know where the loot is, you're going to know where rotations are easier, and you're really just going to know the area, and when it comes to you against a player that does not know the area, you're obviously going to have the upper hand. You're going to be dropping here uh, consistently. So we do see a guy. We, of course, hear footsteps. Unfortunately, you can't hear that in the gameplay now. But we take him out with a pistol. Obviously, Warzone 2 TTK is really freaking low, man. So you can shred someone with a pistol if you get the jump on him. In that case, we did. But you guys saw and you're going to see throughout the video when I do get a kill. I don't push to loot right away. I kind of stand back wait around maybe ADS just to make sure because in solo specifically man third parties are going to be are, are insane obviously people hear the gunshots they want to get in the mix they want to capitalize on getting that kill so you want to make sure that you guys are in a good position before you start to loot right there of course I was right next to the guy so I'm like alright let's loot him up I don't really hear anyone around me so we're going to loot and uh, get a couple weapons because we just had a pistol at the time so uh, we did pick up his weapons we picked up some plates and what I recommend is stocking your backpack full of plates. Try to get maybe at least six plates. I usually I usually try to go for nine because you because they're in three plate increments. So maybe three plates on you and then six in the backpack just to make sure that you guys don't run out of plates. Because again, TTK is low. You get cracked really easily and they, they you just go through plates left and right. So of course, the beginning stages, we're in the looting phase. We're still kind of playing it slow. We're listening, making sure there are no footsteps around. One thing I do recommend in the settings is turning off auto attack sprint in Warzone 2. Uh, unfortunately, you know, just how the ADS speed is, um, the, best, the, the better route to take is to do just auto sprint when you're, you know, moving up on your the right, the left stick or on your keyboard. But auto attack sprint, I wouldn't put that on uh, just because it's going to give you more control over that ADS. So, and this is for now tips. Of course, things could change. We do hear someone above us, of course. You know, I, I do apologize for some reason. With the audio, it's all jacked up. But we do hear someone above us. You can see the shadow just kind of glimpse by uh, at the top of the ceiling there. We're going to precision that. And then also, we're going to kind of get the hell out of there because we uh, do have glass in the ceiling. And precision's, you know, of course, could break through and drop us. We don't want to get dropped in that situation. So we do kind of wrap around a little bit. And if we did not drop him, which we didn't, then we know for sure that he's not on the roof. He is down now. You guys did see right there, if we go back a little bit, we hit his shield right there. It was that mine that we threw down. If you guys remember, we did throw down a cluster mine right at the entrance out here. So we see that. We know he's in here with us. But with Warzone 2, you want to make sure in that case, you could see I shot at him, but I still, I stayed ADSing, right? I didn't just run and gun like I would have in Warzone 2 and chase after him. I kind of sat there, waited for him to get into a position where he's going to be pushing me instead of me pushing him. Because if I did push him, I more than likely would have gotten smoked because he's probably ADSing. We can see there are a couple claymores he set down by the stuns. I threw stuns just to get an idea of where he was at, seeing if I could stun him. If you guys do pick up a, a Fennec, man, the Fennec is OP. You guys are going to see that in the gameplay here. Uh, but if you do pick up a Fennec, you're going to already have the advantage because the Fennec is just super OP. So right now in this in this spot, you know, we're kind of checking both sides, both doors. It is going to be really important to know what gun you are going to be needing at that time. So, of course, we're close range. We're going to bring out the Fennec. If we were a little bit longer, we're going to bring out the tack, which we had as well. So we're kind of sh shuffling through. But at this point, you know, we could hear him outside. We got our Fennec out 
and this is another good reason why uh, having auto sprint and not auto attack sprints helpful is because I wasn't just I was able to ADS there really quick I just had auto sprint instead of the tax sprint so when I am running here and moving you could see I you could just ADS really quickly we drop him with the Fennec pretty easy kill there and we don't finish him yet we get out of dodge and then we get snipe from the tower if you guys saw there again warzone solos uh crazy when it comes to third parties obviously so um we kill him we don't go out and loot his body we're gonna kind of play it slowly check out see where this guy's at he was on the tower which i didn't see him at first but if you look up there he is up on the way all the way at the top of it so we're just kind of playing it safe again Killing people and getting out is going to be very helpful for you guys. We still only have a two-plate vest. So the guy we just killed did have a three-plate vest. So we do need to go out and get that. But the guy knows where that guy just got killed. Obviously, we got sniped. So we want to make sure that we don't run out there, grab his loot, and then all of a sudden we get one shot uh, killed. Which is weird because snipers do take two shots to the head to kill. I don't know if it is with that with two plate vests. I don't know if that's the case. It might be a one shot. Uh, but three plate vests definitely takes two shots to the head. Uh, which is weird because the TTK is so low. But I did see the glimpse up at the top of that, uh, of that tower. This would have been very helpful if we had that precision airstrike ready to go. But we would have used it. So unfortunately we don't have another one we're still playing it slow man i don't know where the hell this guy's at i don't know if he jumped down i don't know if he's up there laying prone and we can't see him we look coast is kind of clear for now at least we uh we can't see anybody so we're gonna grab this guy's loot we have a mortar strike we're just gonna throw up there again don't know if the guy's still up there or not but we do see that he jumps down so he was up there the whole time that's why you guys gotta play it safe i didn't see him up there but you gotta kind of assume that they're not gonna be jumping down if they're in that kind of positioning especially if he thinks that i don't know he's there like i didn't sh i shot at him a little bit but i didn't hit him or anything so he might not have even known that i knew he was up there uh, so that's why we throw the mortar strike up there to get him to jump down just to kind of see if he's up there i probably should have grabbed that other mortar strike i don't know why i didn't but when you're out in the open looting it's kind of sketchy you know you want to make sure that you're almost in and out and you don't loot all at once if there is a lot to be looted i did look for his vest i couldn't find it i don't know if does that happen to you guys where if there is a three plate vest uh, for some reason, it doesn't show up on the ground. I don't know. But we're looking around for the guy that dropped off the tower. Uh, we know he's probably around here somewhere. Uh, and just kind of playing it safe. Playing it. Uh, see if we could hear anybody. Any footsteps. Any shooting going around. Uh, so we're looking around our corners. Again, turn off that tax sprint because you can ADS a lot better um, and you can kind of really control your movement. But we do hear someone here. We take him out with the Fennec. There we go. Boom. See ya. Sayonara. And now we got to loot his body. He did also have a three plate vest. So in this case, we do get his three plate vest. Uh, again, I don't know why the hell I'm not picking up this mortar strike. Maybe in my mind, I thought I had a, a kill streak or something already, but you got to pick those up, man. Even put them in your pocket. I had shotgun ammo, right? I had shotgun ammo in there and I didn't pick up the mortar strike. So just be very uh, mindful of your of your inventory, what you got in your in your pocket, your backpack. We do see a guy uh, on top of this tower. We popped UAV and we're going to finish looting up this guy, but we're going to also kind of peek that. You can see the glimpse again uh, coming down from the very top i don't know if that's the same guy or what but there we go now we pick up the mortar strike don't know why we did in the first place we're gonna throw it right up there we know for a fact he's gonna be jumping down so there he is we shoot him a couple times miss quite a bit of shots there probably should have taken him out but i'm in no rush to push that i'm kind of i do want to push it but i'm playing a little bit slower when you're pushing someone and they're just kind of sitting there ads and the likelihood of you getting that kill is a lot lower now uh if you're just running in guns blazing slow pushing it but getting yourself in a good position keeping yourself in a good position at the same time that's going to be the more important part in warzone 2 so don't run in there like a freaking wild animal uh take your time with it slow push but still push you know of course still get in the get in the fights but the fights are just a lot different in warzone 2 so we don't know where this guy's at there he could be really anywhere i mean there's so many corners so many buildings in this area that he could just be sitting in there he could be up top he could be behind the rocks we don't know so we're not in any position to start pushing like we know where he's at if we knew where he was at then of course you know we could probably get in there but 
I'm using the heartbeat every so often just to check to see if anyone's close. I think the heartbeat only goes up to like, I don't know, 10 meters or something like that. We see a guy right here. Uh, we could pop our head back out, but we're going to actually take another, another route, another way. Come in, take him out pretty easily there. Doesn't crack our shields, so <laughs> we're keeping our eye out open for that. The most important thing after you get a kill, and I'm going to probably already stress this throughout the gameplay. I'm going to continue to stress it is that for this exact reason you want to get a kill and you want to get out all right you don't want to stand on top of someone's body and loot it especially if you're lower on plates uh you want to get to a safe spot plate up and then from there you can kill off any third parties like that guy that just happened so get a kill and get out man that's 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 a big tip for for solos and it's going to help you guys out a lot trust me I would definitely focus on getting to a safe spot before plating. So before you even touch your plates, get to a safe spot and then go plate up. That's going to help you because plating takes so so long. You can't sprint while plating. Make sure you're in a safe spot, then throw the plates in. So we got five kills, you know, 49 players left. And now we're just kind of looting. We feel pretty confident that there aren't many players around in this area uh, realize that we had shotgun ammo and sniper ammo i've been playing a lot of caldera so i gotta get back into into the warzone 2 grind here and this is actually my first game back in so no warm-ups or anything i uh, end up pulling out the win here but we do have five thousand dollars which of course five grand gets you your uh loadout weapon your custom weapon whether whatever weapon it is um in this case i usually recommend a long range weapon first close range is good but since the TTK is so low, uh, you know, you, you find a ground Fennec, you're going to just shred. You don't really need uh, an OP Fennec build. So we do grab the RPK, which is one of the best long range weapons to use right now. Uh, so definitely get yourself an RPK if you haven't gotten that already. And now we're getting mortared. So people know we're here. We don't know where they're at. We don't know if they're behind us, in front of us, whatever. If you look at the map, you can kind of see up here that the cluster is coming from these buildings so i'm guessing they're around this area or at least kind of this side behind me we're still slow playing that making sure that we're not just running out there because he could be on the roof for all i know at this point he could have rotated to the side of the building anywhere i don't know i ain't hearing shit so we're we're slow and playing it checking our corners looking around and when we are getting to a building or getting to another spot then we bring out the tax sprint you know you hit the stick in or whatever you're on if you're on pc hit shift or whatever you got going on uh to get into a building we do get precisioned as well and again you know the precision is going to come from that area where it was sent from so we're getting precisioned from this section this area and i'm guessing it's probably because people are going to start to push towards the circles circles coming in we might have someone behind us and then also now we have we might have someone down in this area so we're just kind of peeking it out checking it out and when you are rotating when you are moving make sure that you have a spot that you are going to be going towards don't just run to run all right run to a destination run to a spot that has cover like in this case i'm running to the next building i'm kind of playing behind in between the buildings but i know where i'm going i'm going up on the ladder in this case just to have a little peek but at this point like we're kind of out in the open so right here i probably wouldn't recommend just sitting up here like this the gas is coming in so when the gas is pushing in i feel like a lot of players really prioritize getting to the gas before looking at other options or looking for other players stuff like that so when people are pushing to the gas that's a very good opportunity for you guys to get some kills because they're not really looking for enemies their main priority is to get the hell out of the gas you know get into the circle and that's going to leave them vulnerable for positions like this where we take and can take them out pretty easily there and don't hear anyone we're good so uh, going back to my last point always have a destination where you're going to run to get run two buildings run behind cover because you never know where players are at they could be watching you with a scope they could be right behind you you never know and just having that cover obviously is going to help you guys survive and really this game is all about about survival instead of being the aggressor um just because the ttk and 
how the movement is the gameplay is it's kind of slower paced so it's really just being in that defensive position as opposed to uh really pushing the pace now of course you can push the pace in this game it's just a lot different than warzone one it's a lot uh, you know you, you got to make sure that you're pushing uh it with positioning uh and you actually have to use your brain a little bit more instead of just stimming up sprinting which i do miss i do definitely like the uh the movement of caldera or warzone one but we're here with Warzone 2. We just got to adjust to it. And, you know, we'll, we just got to make do with what we got. 31 players left. We're going to start making our way to the circle. I've pretty much cleared this area. There could be maybe a couple stragglers in corners, but no point in looking in each and every little corner for somebody. So we're just going to fly down. And we're not going to play the edge of the circle yet just because we're only in the fourth circle. So we're going to be getting to a spot where it's kind of close to the circle where we can almost gatekeep a little bit, but kind of not. Uh, you know, it's kind of a little bit towards the middle, but there's a guy right here. If you guys saw, I literally pulled out the heartbeat right as I hit the, the roof and saw that he was there. And then right there, you could see 11 meters ahead. Boom. Takes me out. And unfortunately, you know, that's the case where you don't really have have much you could do at that point i probably should have pulled my parachute a little bit more i probably should have looked down to see if there's anyone on the roof before i landed on it but i just assumed man and that's what's going to get you killed in this game man you can't assume that there's no one there because there there's a good chance that there is someone there to take you out just like that so don't make that mistake now we're in the gulag you guys know by now it's a 2v2 gulag so we gotta wait for four players or three other players to get in here and we're in our gulag we got shotguns now of course with gulag you never know which which type of teammate you're gonna get i always go in assuming i'm gonna pretty much carry that and that's the mindset you guys should have but be mindful of what you guys are picking up like there's ground loot you can pick up and that you will keep throughout the game uh through a semtex there we take this guy out here with a shotgun don't know what he was doing but we picked up a three plate vest is a really good point to bring up pick shit up in the gulag because when you do drop in you're gonna keep that stuff you're gonna keep that backpack or that chip that plate vest we take out the second guy now we got seven kills we're going back with a shotgun and a three plate vest so now it is very important on where we land where are we going to land? Are we going to the loadout drop where it's pretty much end of the circle, edge of the circle? Or are we going to drop kind of towards the middle of the map and get into a good positioning for end game because there are only 20 players left. And since the TTK is where it's at at the moment, uh, the loadout drop is less important at the moment to then to get your actual positioning in a good spot panned out very well for us we got in a good spot getting a good building here and uh kind of play for the win but had i gone to my loadout there's probably someone looking at it watching it you know the edge of the gas you have a gas push and pushing into the gas in this game is a lot more difficult if you don't have a vehicle because again you could get blasted in like two shots so you got to keep that in mind but we end up taking the position play instead of getting our loadout land on a couple decent guns and now we're sitting pretty uh here towards the edge of or towards the middle of the gas actually so we're just kind of kind of look around you never know there could be a player sitting in these corners there could be someone downstairs we don't know so we're slow playing it looking around i probably should have had my shotgun out at this point but uh it's all right we ended up not finding anyone so there's 14 players left and usually like top 20 i would say start to play for the win start to really slow down we hear a guy coming up the stairs we crack his shield take him out uh and now we actually have some loot we can work with so we pick up his weapon and like i said back to e even in this situation man get a kill get into a safe spot and then plate because there could be people pushing you could they could see you up on top of the on that top bar that shows the like the directions up there will show you up there doesn't show you on the map in this game but it will show you up on that top navigation bar so just play it safe man still i know you guys can't hear but i do hear someone running downstairs below me in another kind of ratty campy spot but at the same time like what are you gonna do man are you gonna run out and try to fight them or are you gonna get into a better position to get the kill and end game and especially especially end game we're going to get the kill we're not we're not trying to push anything we're trying to get in a better position to win the game 
So like this guy, you know, I could, I definitely uh, can probably tell he's pissed off, which I would be, I would be dropping F-bombs, I'd be calling him a pussy, all this stuff, but, you know, at that point, like, there's really nothing that I can do to get into a better position to get that kill, so he did have a lot of good stuff for us, man, he had a gas mask, a self-revive, precision, RPK, so we're pretty much just taking the taking the same spot as this guy was here right we're pretty much just swapping him out for me and i have all of his gear and uh, now we're ready to rock man there's five players left we're gonna start the precision maybe towards the circle because we don't want people to sit in that building and watch us push because they're gonna be in a much better better position than we are gas is pushing but we do have a gas mask i usually like to do because players like this you know there's gonna be players that are playing the gas so if you're sitting in the gas, then you have a much better better chance of getting that kill. If I jump down, he would actually have had a shot to get that kill. But since I stayed in the gas, I used up my gas mask. But we did get that kill and stayed alive um, really easily without him even really being able to do anything about it. So, uh, so now we are trying to get into the gas. Unfortunately, we don't have another gas mask, so we have to push hard. And going back to my one of my first points is push to a spot, have something in mind. My brain said, go to this building, push into this building, and we made it there. So... Uh, one of the low IQ plays uh, that I made throughout this uh, throughout this game here exactly is actually not knowing I had a stimmy in my back pocket. So, of course, there's four players left. They're going to be fighting, and I'm over here just kind of sitting in the gas. See a guy shooting right there. We're trying to get into the gas, but we go down, and we go down because we didn't realize we had a stimmy. I'm looking around, and I see... That we got two. We got two stimmies. So stimmies are important even to put in your backpack towards end game because they saved my life right here. So we get we get our stimmies. We wait till our health bar is somewhat down just to give us uh you know a little bit of a little bit more time in the gas. And then we stimmy again. We get into the circle. One player left, one v one. You guys know we don't lose one v ones. But again, positioning is important. He's not up here with me, so he's more likely down below. And there we go. We get the kill. We sneak up behind him and take him out for the war zone victory, baby. And you know, a lot of things that happen that I could have probably avoided uh, throughout the gameplay, but we do end up getting the win. And this, you know, could be for you guys for your beginner tips. Uh, if you're trying to get your first solo win, maybe more advanced players. If you're getting maybe some tips on like rotation and stuff, you know, I hope this helped you guys out in any way. And if it does, be sure to hit the thumbs up sub to the channel for some more and as always i appreciate you for stopping by i will catch you in the next one peace